In this video, we are going to present the reported speech. What is the reported speech? How we change the sentence from direct speech to indirect speech? And we are going to practice using the reported speech. The reported speech is the grammar we use if we want to tell another person about a conversation that took a place in the past. For example, a telephone call, a news, or a story that someone told us. Look at the example. I feel calm when I read Quran every day. This is a direct speech. To change it into indirect speech, we change the verb and the pronouns and and the pronouns and some time and place expressions. Look at the indirect sentence. My sister said that she felt calm when she read Quran every day. When she read Quran every day. Look at the verb here. Feel, become felt, I, we change it to she, and the verb read, we change it to read in the past. Because I'm reporting a sentence. We create the reported speech out of the direct speech by changing the time tense. We change the verb or the tense from simple present into simple past. Examples. Go. The past of go is went. Speak. Spoke. Be. Was or were. Lock. Locked. Have or has. We change it to had. Please take a look at your workbook page 127. And memorize as many verbs as you can to use the reported speech correctly. Now, if you want to change a sentence from direct to indirect, you must follow the steps in, in that you have in this slide. The first one, you must start with subject and said. And you can use after the word said that. And we can say, he said, or we can say, he said that. Number two, you must change the tense from present simple to past simple, from verb one to verb two. The last thing that you must do, you must uh, change the rest of the sentence according to some rules that you are going to know in the following slides. We, can, we must change... Um, the pronouns, the time, and the place expressions. The first step to change the verbs. Here are here we have some examples on the verb. See, so the past of see is so, can, could, will, would, am, is, are, was, or were. Am is are, was or were, have or has, the past, the past of has and have is had, do, did. Now, you don't have to change the following or the ing verb and the verb that follow to. You must not change them. Look at the example. I am studying to get a full mark. I am studying, we change am and we don't change the ing verb, studying. If it is in the sentence as a verb or as a gerund, any verb with ing, we don't change it. And the verb after to, get here, we don't change it. The sentence become, becomes she said she was studying 
to get a full mark. Now, how we change the pronouns? Look at the table. You have the table here. You can memorize it to know how to change the uh, pronouns from direct to indirect. For example, here in the subject pronouns, we change the I into he or she according to the to the to the person or to the subject that say said the sentence. You become I, she, he, we, or they, we become they, or we change it to they. This, we change it to that. These, we change it to those. Hello. How we change the time and place expressions? Here are some time or place expressions, like here, there, now, then, today, that day, this evening, that evening, tonight, that night. Yesterday, the day before, last week, we change it to the week before, tomorrow, we change it to, uh, or we change it to the next day. The next year we change it to uh, the fo uh, the following year. Any word that our any exception that start with next, we change it to the following day. For example, the next month, we change it to the following month. And the last week, anything any exception that start with last, we change it to before. The, the word last we change it to before. For example, last week. We change it to the week before. Uh, last year, we change it to the year before. Now it's time to practice. I want you to report the following sentences. Look at the first sentence. I love reading books, especially when they have such an exciting, an exciting plot as this one. Aunt Molly is talking here. So we start with Aunt Molly said. At the first gap, you have to choose the answer from number from A from here. Aunt Molly said that loved book, loved read it, read. Or that she loves reading, or she loved reading. Well done. She, because we change the I to she, love we change it to loved, reading we don't change it. So the answer is she loved reading. Box. Especially when. Especially when. In the direct sentence, we have they have such an exciting plot. Now, do we change they? No, we don't. Excellent. Okay, have. It is a verb. How we change it? Well done. Had. So we have they had. So the answer is number two in B. They had, especially when they had such an exciting plot. As this one, we changed this to, to what? To this one, or that one, or the one. Remember? Excellent. We changed this to that one. Here are the answers. Now, number two. Mary is using our dad's card, credit card. Credit card to buy clothes. And I don't think dad will be very happy. 
Eli Seed Mary is using our dad's card. Is we change it to what? Was using and our we change it to their or used dad's card or had been used the dad's excellent we change is to was using we don't change it because it has an an ing our we change it to well done there so the answer is was using their dad's credit card now to buy clothes to buy to plus an infinitive verb do we change it good job no to buy we leave it as it is so the answer is to buy Ellie said Mary was using their dad's credit card to buy clothes and I don't think dad will be very happy I we change it to Ellie is talking here and she's a girl so we we changed I to she excellent and I our and sorry and she don't we change it to well done didn't i didn't think think we leave it as it is because after did we don't change the verb to past so the answer she didn't thought sorry she didn't think that Now, will we change it to was or would be or would was? We change will be to would be. Excellent. Because the past of will is would and we don't change the verb after will. We consider it like to and the infinitive verb. All the verbs after will must be infinitive and all the verbs after did must be infinitive Even the verbs after to must we must leave it infinitive after did also and what the verb after it is or will the verb must be infinitive after these verbs now I'm good at driving. Actually, I think I'm an excite and an excellent driver. Tina is talking here. Tina said that I we change it to I am. We change it to excellent. She was good at driving. And uh, driving here is an ing verb. We don't change it. Actually, I think, I think we change it to what? Look at C here. She is thinking, or I thought, or she, sh she thought. Well done. I, we change it to she, and think we change it to thought. Excellent. Now, I am an ex and uh, sorry I am an excellent driver she is going to was or she was or I am going to being for sure I am we change it to she was excellent I love my students and I want to see them again Teacher Dana said that I love my students. We change it to think about it. Think about I love. We change it to what? 
well done. She laughed. And my students, we change it, we change my to excellent hair students and I want we change the I to she and the verb want must be wanted excellent so the answer is she wanted the last one she wanted to see them to see well done we don't change to see so the answer is to see thank you for your great effort my students